Hey guys! This week's video is a demo and review of the Collegiate Semi-Moist Metallic Watercolor Set by Jack Richardson. This is a 12 color set in some very gorgeous colors. You get a nice variety. And just as a precursor, I'd like to say that I haven't tried a whole lot of metallic paints. The only other set that I have is from my favorite brand. Kurataki Gansai Tambi makes a five color gold variety. So that's pretty much my only experience with the metallic watercolor paints. For this demo, I started with the Canson XL watercolor paper cut down to a 4x6 size and taped down to a piece of acrylic. It's 140 pound paper in kind of a cold press finish. Started with a very light sketch that I did with gray coal erase pencil by Prismacolor. The first thing that I noticed about this set is that they activate very easily. I feel like the pigment load is pretty good with these and the variety of colors are very nice. Each color is in an individual pan that you can pop out of the set, which uh, is nice in case you want to work with fewer colors or you want to rearrange them to your particular liking. The pans are also quite generous in size. The brushes that I'm using for this demo are the Princeton Velvet Touch in the long rounds size 8 and size 2 and the Jack Richardson palette also comes with a round synthetic brush as well that I do use briefly. The brush is okay, it's nice that they include one but it doesn't come to very fine points so I wouldn't rely too heavily on it especially for a small painting like this one. The outside of this case shows what the paints should look like if you were to use them on top of black or white paper and unfortunately I didn't have any black watercolor paper to demo this but I think they look gorgeous against that white paper. I think these metallics come out really nicely, um, again they're pretty saturated, they're quite reflective. I found them very easy to work with, which was really nice. I think the set is a really great value for what it costs. I definitely think it's worth it. Price wise, they run from about $11 to $15 US. and they seem relatively easy to find here anyways. Added bonus, they make your paint water look super pretty, even if you've mixed a bunch of colors in it already, seeing the shimmers and everything just swirling around, it's kind of hypnotic and I like the way it looks a lot. Once the metallic areas were dry, I went in with some ink. I used the Copic pens for tracing out the face or mask a little bit, and then I moved to the Pentel Pocket Brush to do the background. I probably should have just used a brush and some dip ink for this, so because the Pentel Pocket Brush does function on cartridges, but I have plenty of extra, and I'm using the old Pentel Pocket Brush of mine that I've kind of already frayed, so 
Uh, it doesn't really bother me to use it on the backgrounds like this. I need to buy another good brush for inking only. I don't like to mix brushes for the different media types. This set's a lot of fun to play with and a great way to make any of your work look kind of magical. I look forward to using these a lot more. Once the ink was dry, I used the Uniball White Signo Pen to add the stars and some highlights. I also tried the Milky Jelly Roll Pen, but it didn't actually come out so well. So I went back to the Signo Pen, and that is when my camera ran out of space. I do apologize, but you didn't miss much. And if you think you might buy them anyways, I would much appreciate if you use the affiliate link down below. It does really help small channels like mine. And as you can see, these paints are super reflective. They look great in person. I don't know if the video quite captures that, but I hope that if you're curious about them, you do give them a try. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you do use them, leave me a comment so I can know what you think about them as well. Thank you for watching and happy painting.